Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Budget with D and on this channel we talk all things cash stuffing, budgeting and small business related. So in this video if you can't tell by this lovely setup that we've got going on today uh, we are doing yet another cash stuffing and if we have a look very quickly here at my little cash totals post-it book, well it's not post-it it's a tear-off book, um, but yeah we've got £400 total but 55 of that is going to be going towards the wedding simply because that is money that's come out of the creator fund over on TikTok. Um, so after tax and everything has gone out of it, all that I've got left is 55, but I've decided to put all of that in towards the wedding. So having taken that out, that leaves us with 345 pounds for today's cash stuff in. Quickly before we get into the video, if you like the look of these little cash total memo pads, they are all available on my website. They are handmade by yours truly and literally all you do is write down your totals for your cash stuff in or whatever you want to use it for and then you can just tear it off and start again as you can see I've used a sharpie and it does go through to the other page but not on to the second one unless you really heart like draw a heart or something as you can see there's like a little teeny tiny dot where I colored in the heart but yeah it's lovely thick paper thick quality paper and it's just very very cute I decided to keep one for myself so yeah I'm gonna move that off to the side and we do actually have a bonus envelope today so let me get one very organized if you can't tell so I'm gonna move this over here for just a second and this as well we don't really need that now bonus and these bonus envelopes for anyone that may be new to my channel when I set myself a budget for every two weeks, um, whatever doesn't get spent out of the budget goes into one of these envelopes. I have a main savings challenge, uh, which is like a leftovers challenge kind of a thing for my weekly food shop leftovers. And then if there's anything left over from any of my other categories in my other binders, uh, by the time I come to do the next cash stuffing, then that's what goes in here. Um, so I'm gonna very quickly go into my essential binder and we're just gonna see what we've got to go in the bonus envelope today. So weekly food shop, I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Um, Guess and electric. Now I'm really excited about this, you guys, because we've got 40 pounds left in gas and electric. I think that is absolutely incredible. And I'm absolutely buzzing about that. Little Man's Essentials, there is nothing left there, but we do have one pound in my personal folder so that gives us 41 pounds altogether and that is everything from the ones that are sinking funds if you will because they're the only ones that get like updated every two weeks so we've got 41 pounds going into the bonus envelope today and i think my camera's about to die so i might have to go and put it on charge <laughs> so there is bonus envelope all done and ready to be added to the others so now that is all done, I'm just going to quickly put 300 in, no I don't need that, we can move this off to the side, I don't even know why I've got it there, <laughs> but it looked cute didn't it? <laughs> I'm going to pop that over there and we're going to come back into the essentials binder. And filling up the gas and electric, once again I'm going to be putting £100 into there today, Six, eight and this is very awkward because I've got two tripods right now <laughs> so I'm trying to knock, knock either of them over we'll see how well I do so next is little men's essentials and we are putting 20 pounds in here today um, and as you can see we've got something a little bit different going on today if we come back to my little cash totals uh, sheet you can see that we've actually got some one pound note one pound notes, <laughs> one pound coins and a five pound note. We don't normally have those, but like I said, I got 55 pounds from um, TikTok, <laughs> from TikTok shop from the creator fund. Um, so yeah, I just added the other five because obviously cash points do not give you fivers, unfortunately. So yeah, and then I just went through and I exchanged a tenner out of the penny saving challenge and I took these out of my penny saving challenge pot, but it all works out to be the same because I put the money back in. Anyway, before I start confusing myself even more, let's keep going. So personal is getting £30 today, which makes me happy because the last few cash stuffings, I've only had enough to put £20 in there. So 
this week, hopefully I'll be able to treat myself a little bit more. Well, for the next two weeks, shall I say. And that is now everything for this binder. And if you didn't see my last video, I can't believe I didn't mention this, but clearly I, my binders have had a little bit of a makeover. So definitely go and check my last video out if you'd like to see me reorganize them all and set my wedding binder up. So coming into my savings binder, I'm gonna start off with the Christmas fund. And it just makes me happy to see how like full that is looking. Like this is why I love cash stuff in. Anyway, I'm putting 30 pounds into here again today. So I'm just gonna mark off one of the 30s just to try and keep it. Maybe next, next time I'll try and do 40 so we've got a whole row done. So I'm gonna pop that back in and I really need to keep an eye on my camera so that it doesn't die. <laughs> Let's hope we've got enough time. We've got one bar, we can do this. So. Moving on to the penny saving challenge. I'm actually adding 12 pounds in there today to make use of the coins a little bit. So I'm gonna be putting this into my pot. And as you can see, I still haven't even added it from the last cash stuffing because the 10 is still in there. So the next time that I top up my penny savings challenge, it's, it's gonna be it. It's gonna be a big one, guys. <laughs> so there's that. And then I'm actually adding three pounds to the Dicer Challenge as well, because I haven't added to the Dicer Challenge in a very long time. At least that's how it feels. So I'm just gonna mark off one of these threes. And then pop the tracker back in. And I have no idea what the hell happened to my vinyl here. It's just, I have no idea. Honestly, not a clue how that could have even happened. I've just got my little pot, my little resin pot. This is one of the first ones I ever made, so it's very nostalgic for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna pop them in there so they're nice and safe. And then we can move on. So little man's birthday is gonna be getting 10 pounds today. Pop that in there. So we're adding 10 pounds in there today. So I'm gonna mark off two of these fives and then we've got 10, 20, 30 pounds left until this tracker is complete. And to be honest, uh, because I think in the last cash stuffing that I did, I said that uh, we might wanna do like closer to 150, but I think we're gonna keep it at 100 because uh, we were actually gonna do our son like a half birthday. Uh, so because of that, we bought him a Lightning McQueen like pedal bike, bicycle thing. He's obsessed with Lightning McQueen and cars and all of that good stuff. What little boy isn't, right? Yeah, we got him that, but he ended up having a, a nasty accident not too long ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen about that. Um, but yeah, because of that, he had to get some stitches on his head and everything. So we're, we're just not risking it because we had a bouncy cast already and all of that stuff. And it was gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and the reason why we would like to do, well, we wanted to do a half birthday for him is because his birthday is right after Christmas and New Year's. So just for him to feel a little bit of like that birthday, the only day about him kind of a vibe, um, that's why we wanted to do it. But yeah, it doesn't really seem like it's going to be happening. So because of that, the bike that we got for him, the Lightning McQueen one, will be his main Christmas present this year. So at least that saves us buying his main present and then we can just buy him a couple of little bits and then he is sorted. So happy days, <laughs> it all worked out in the end. Uh, Reese's birthday, I'm also putting 10 pounds into here today. So each box is five, so I'm gonna do two, there we go. And then tattoo fund, I'm also putting 10 pounds into here. If I don't have a tracker, I really should. I don't know why I don't. Um, and then I was going to add 10 pounds into here. I really need to update the tracker because as you can see, all I've got is 10 in there. But I'm gonna take that out and put a 20 in. And then I'm, I'm just gonna leave the tracker because there's no point <laughs> marking anything off in there at the moment because I need to rub it all out and do it again. And that is now everything for the savings binder. I'm gonna try and pop that back in its pot. 
I really don't like crunching up notes, so hopefully that's not too bad. But before I get confused, I'm just quickly gonna take 55 out. Just like that, so I, no, that's 45. There we go, 55. So that leaves us with 20, 40, 60, 80, 10. So what I'm going to do is come into here and I'm just gonna add to this savings challenge. This is just like a generic wedding one. So I don't have a specific purpose set for this just yet, but obviously we're gonna need to use it for something. So I'm gonna add 20 pounds in here today. So I'm just gonna mark this one off and that should now put us up to 60 pounds in this one, I think which is a lovely start. So I'm gonna pop that back in there now. With every cash stuffing that I do, I'm gonna try and add as much as I can um, into the wedding binder whilst also adding to my savings. The only reason why I'm not too, too bothered about adding to this during cash stuffings is because any extra income that comes in is more than likely gonna go towards it. And also all of the money that comes from the penny savings challenge and the weekly leftovers and also my mystery tin, it's all gonna be going into this binder eventually. So I would rather focus on filling those up so then we can open it and have like a very exciting kind of a boom, wow, look at all this cash. And then I can kind of divide it all up amongst the, um, amongst the different categories. So we've got 80 pounds left here. And what I'm gonna do is put 40 pounds into my 100 envelope challenge and the remaining 40 will be going into my mystery tin. So I'm gonna move these off to the side and what I will do is actually add this 55 pounds into, should we add it to the mystery tin or should we just add it to the, should we just add it to the binder? I'm gonna add the five in the tin. And then we've got this, and if we hold on just a moment. So I've also got this here, and I think my camera's literally about to die, so bear with me if it does. So in here, we've actually got, i move this off, got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, 110 pounds, well, 114 with these. Um, and this is money that my boyfriend has brought in from doing overtime. Pretty much that's where it's all come from, I believe. Um, it's been sitting there for a little while, but obviously my wedding binder wasn't set up yet, so I couldn't exactly do much with it. But here we are. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna add these all up together and I will be adding them to the wedding fund. I don't really know about these coins because they're a bit random. I'll leave them to the side here for now. I'm just going to count to see what we've got in total. So in total, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got 164 pounds. This is like almost like two cash stuffings in one. Wow, wow, you are. <laughs> Very quickly, I'm going to come back into here. And I think... I think, I think, I think I'm going to add some money into my wedding dress fund. I've got 50 pounds in there already. You would have seen that from the last video if you watched it. How much should we, I think I'll add 30. Or should I do the whole 50 from TikTok shop? Do you know what? I'm gonna do the whole 50 because each dress on this tracker is 50 pounds. Um, so I might as well just make it easier for myself. Apologies for that. My camera failed on me. It did not fail, it done me really well. <laughs> um, my camera died and I had to charge it, so sorry if anything looks different or off, or if I repeat myself because I cannot remember what I said at the end of the last video. But we are adding 50 pounds because I think what I was saying was that TikTok money I've earned myself and I'm not gonna get many opportunities as it is to um, add to like my wedding dress fund because I would have to come out of my own personal money. Um, so yeah, because obviously I don't feel right to put it into my wedding dress fund if it's money that like Reese has made from working overtime or something. So yeah, I'm gonna add it to here with no regrets and at least this way I've got 100 pounds already for my wedding dress, which is crazy because we only got engaged what like not even two months ago at this point. Or maybe, maybe two months. <laughs> I'm so excited to go wedding dress shopping. You guys have no idea. No idea. 
so there is that. So £110 left, well, £114, including these coins. So I am also going to add to the honeymoon fund. What should we add? I'm going to do 20. So that will put us up to 50, I think, now, so far. There we go. I'm going to pop it in the wallet. There we go, there we go. So take away 20. Got 90 pounds left. Let's add to the venue fund, because let's be real, that's going to be the most expensive thing to add to. The smallest amount we've got on here is 40 pounds, so I'm going to add that in. I'm just gonna so I definitely feel like we're starting to make very good progress even though it's not been too long so I'm quite optimistic that this will happen in two years for us so we've got 50 pounds left I'm gonna add to the catering fund as well and let's see what should we do and do 30. here i'm just going to fill back in still kind of boggles my mind as to just how expensive catering actually is but what can we do and i should we do the last 22? Let's do it in here. So we'll put it in for towards the decorations. So we'll do, should we do two tens or a 20? Mm, let's do a 20. And that is now everything. So I can close this. Oh no, we've still got the four pounds got the four pounds I think what I'm gonna do with this is add it to my dice challenge this is all gonna be added to a separate savings challenge so whether I decide to add it all to my uh, 100 envelope challenge or if I decide to add it all to the wedding I don't know yet I haven't decided but I'm gonna add it into here oh <laughs> that was not very straight so we'll do that and then I'm going to grab my little pot and I'm just going to add them in. There we go. So now we are officially done. Oh, the order is off. The order is off. There we go, that's better. That now brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end if you made it this far. Please do leave me a comment down below, let me know anything that you wanna let me know. And please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And with all that being said, I'm gonna love you and leave you. And as always, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.